Hello and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle for Wednesday the 20th of January. Uh, it's Wednesday in Thailand and in the UK, although it's still Tuesday in the US where uh, unfortunately 400,000 people have now died and in the UK uh, 1,610 people died in a 24-hour period of COVID-19. This is a truly awful disaster um, and one which could have been mitigated slightly more or maybe a lot more if politicians had behaved more rationally, more logically um, as they have in Thailand to some extent where I live and where we have had 67 deaths I think in total and we have a similar sized population to that of the UK um, so clearly there were some uh, differences in government policy and of course social behavior um, that have led us this far but okay today's less uh, uh, today's um, Sudoku is a uh, medium level <clears throat> so uh, we had a medium level yesterday and I think it's like a broad church that means we can expect a few beginners here and I, and I welcome beginners to today's I think because just looking at the grid it seems to have a lot of numbers now that maybe it just means we're going to get unstuck at the end with something tricky but um, based on the number of figures that are already filled in uh, I would say this looks more like an easy puzzle than a medium but I could be wrong uh, and they said it's medium so who am I to argue so shall we begin uh, if you are a beginner I shall quickly go through the rules for you we have a large grid and each grid is separated into nine segments with nine squares so there are nine Nine. nine is the magic number here. Uh, one numbers one to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine must go in each square in a segment. Also, numbers one to nine must appear in each column and in each row. Okay, and that's it. That's all the rules you need to know. How do we find the numbers? We never guess. We always work on uh, logic and usually um, elimination. For example. I can immediately see, immediately see because there's some so few numbers missing here and plenty of ones hovering around that a one is blocking this square here from having a one right this segment needs a one somewhere in it it doesn't have a one but one is blocking here and here and here and here and so of these three squares one of them has to be one and it can't be here it can't be here so it has to be here so that's how we um, complete the grid we go through looking at each number and deciding um, uh, where it can possibly go okay so let's get on I can see a six in this column leading up I can see a six in this column leading up and I can see a six in this row going across so we are blocking every square here every square here and every square here which leaves us with this one possible location to fill in number six if you're a slightly more advanced player playing a medium one for an easy uh, game um, my apologies if you, if you are um, finding this boring but never mind we all have to begin somewhere remember what it was like when you were beginning Sudoku how about nines there's a nine coming up this column here and there's a nine across this row here leaving only this position for a nine in this segment I hope you're getting the hang of it if you are a beginner still there are fours along the bottom row here and fours along this middle row here so blocking everything so if we think about this segment here this four blocks these three squares this four blocks these two squares but coming down uh, this four blocks also blocks this one so these these are blocked by these two numbers and this four also blocks that square there so a four has to appear here it's the only possible place it can go <clears throat> sorry about the noise 
here in Thailand we have lots of motorbikes and they make lots of noise. Um, okay, what comes next? In this central square, um, there are only two numbers missing. So a good idea to just see what they are. We have one already. Do we have two? No. Three? Do we have four? No. So the two missing numbers are two and four. What we do is we look to see if there are any intersecting twos or fours. And we find, yes, there's a four here which intersects this square. So that means this can't be a four. So four has to appear here. And the other missing number was two. So we can fill that in also. We're looking around the grid. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking around the grid for anything that catches my eye. Now, if you're a beginner, this is more difficult, of course. You're not, you don't quite have a feel for it, I would suggest, when you're a beginner. When you've played it for quite a long time, you tend to things tend to jump up at you. Um, they, they just get easier to spot. Uh, OK, I can see down here. There's a three in this column, which will block any three being in. Okay, we're looking at this segment. There's a three blocking this square and this square. There's a three in this column coming down, blocking this square and this square. So blocked, 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 blocked. There's only one location for a three to go in this segment. So it has to go there. Okay, now, um, right now, I'm going to show you um, some uh, slightly uh, more useful um, things, something a bit more useful. If we look at this row here in the center, we can see that there are three numbers missing, right? One here and two there. We have one, we don't have two, three, four, five, we don't have six, seven, yeah, and eight. So I'm just going to make a note of that. That's two. Just for beginners, okay? Advanced players don't need to do this, but two, six, and eight are missing from this square, this square, and this square. Is that okay? Missing, missing, missing. Now, what we need to do is to decide where they can go. Now, <clears throat> in this square here, two can't come here, can it? Because we already have a two in this segment, and six is blocked both by this column and also the 6 here. So that means that the 2 and the 6 have to appear in here and here because they can't go here, right? 2 and 6 will have to come here. They can't come here. But there were three numbers missing and the other missing number was an 8. So we know that that has to be an 8. So we can fill that in. And we also know that these two numbers are 2 and 6. Alright, so I may as well show you now that um, 2 and 6, we can fill in as what we call candidates. If you're a beginner, um, it means that these are numbers that could go there, possibly can go there, uh, nothing else. These, these um, we don't know, but we know that they're not 2 or 6. <clears throat> um, okay. And so, since we are since we seem to have started on filling in candidates, let's let's do some more. Okay, so let's consider this column here and decide which numbers are missing. Uh, we have a one. We don't have a two. Ah, hold on a second. I've, uh, let's do something um, before that because I see I've seen something else. There's a five here which leads up this column here, and there's a 5 which leads up this column here, but we are lacking a 5 in this segment. So blocking here, blocking here, that has to be a 5. <clears throat> I was about to say which numbers are missing here. So one, is, we have 2 we don't have, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8 we don't have. So that's 2 and 8. So we can fill in those candidate numbers, 2 and 8. We know it's either a 2 or an 8 in that square and that square. And we know that this has to be 2 or a 6 here. Now, by a process of elimination, we should be able to find out what these two numbers are also. We have 1. We have 2 is either here or here. 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, we don't have. 8, we have here or here. 9, we don't have. So the missing numbers are 7 and 9. What we do is we look and see if there are any 7s or 9s intersecting and there aren't. So we're going to write those candidates in. We know that it's either a 7 or a 9 in those two squares. We can do the same down here. We will do that right now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Uh, we don't have 7. And we have an 8, but we don't have a 9. So the missing numbers from here and here are 7 and 9. And we look around for intersecting 7s and 9s. And, but this time we find one because we see that this 9 is blocking this square here. So 7 and 9, 7 and 9, 9 can't go here, 9 has to go here, and the 7 has to go here, like so. Um, there are two numbers missing here, we can find out what they are. There are two ways, we can either find out by looking at the segment itself, or we can look down this column, it will give us the same result. 1, 2 is missing, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is missing, 2 and 8 are missing. Are there any intersecting 2s or 8s along here? No. So we'll fill that in as candidates, like so. 5s uh, are running across this row here. 5s are running across this row here. And in this segment, which is lacking a 5, there's only one place it can go. It has to go there. Right, uh, now if we uh, look along this column here, you'll notice that there is a 6. Th okay, this, so far we have 1, 2, 4, 5. So we have a lot of numbers missing. But if you notice, there is a 6 blocking this from being a 6. There is also another 6 in this row here blocking that from being a 6. There's a 6 up here blocking that one, and there's a 6 up here blocking that one. So no, no, maybe, no, no. Well, there's only one possible place it can go. So it goes there, like so. Right, now I've seen something else. We're in this same column, in this same column now. Uh, we don't have a number 8 in this column. But 8 already means that we have to remove it as a possible candidate from here and here because it's in this segment already. And there is also an 8 here, which means that we can't have an 8 here. So not 8, not 8, not 8. There's only one square left in that column, which means 8 goes here. Now, we considered before that we had a 2 and an 8, a pair of numbers uh, here and here. And so we know that that can't be 8. That has to be 2, and the 8 has to be there because of this 8. Okay. If we extend the 8 across, and this 8 across, and the 8 that we wrote in earlier down here, in this segment here, we see 8's blocking, 8's blocking, 8's blocking. So 8 appears here, like so. We can also see that the 2 that we've written here now blocks this bottom row. There is a 2 blocking the middle row. There is a 2 in the central column blocking here. So blocked, blocked, and blocked. Only one possible place. A 2 can go now. It's there. And now there's only one number missing from this row. So we must know what it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's a 6. We don't have a 6. So we can fill that in right now. And you could have looked at that coming down as well. 6, coming down, 6, coming down. Also the same logic um, will give you the same answer. Um, okay. Um, now, an important thing to do is now. Now, I, I was, you know, just dealing with this segment and, and and focusing on this segment. But it's important that you 
lift your eyes away and start looking around the grid don't get stuck in one area if you do it will slow down your um, puzzle solving I think it will, will take much longer I think it's quicker to lift up and look around the you know lift your eyes up and look around the grid you often because you've been filling in numbers um, something has happened in other places that you can find more easily Uh, for example, um, all right, now we have an, okay, there are, eight is blocking here, like so, eight is blocking here, like so, eight is blocking here, like so, and eight is blocking here, like so, so blocked, 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 we already know that was two and six anyway, so there's only one location for eight in this segment here, it has to go there. All right, um, next up, where to look? Um, I'm doing this puzzle live, by the way. I haven't rehearsed it or thought about the possible or tried to look at it before I before I, I, I'm attempting it here um, but I'm usually confident I can get the result okay uh, I'm gonna fill in a couple of uh, numbers here um, I can see that uh, these nines are going up this column here nines are going up this column here leaving us with a pair of nines here and here now because I also know that I have a pair of nines here or here, and you can see this. So this nine is blocking here, and this nine is blocking here, and this nine is blocking here. I know that there are two possible locations for nine along here and here. Okay. Now, if you come down to this square, at the, this segment at the bottom, you'll see that well, there's nowhere to put a nine in this column, is there? In fact, nines are going to be a pair. If you notice, they're blocking here. So nines are actually going to be a pair here and here. So if you find yourself in this kind of situation where you have in one segment a pair of numbers but not in a particular column, and in a, one of the other segments in the same in the same direction, also in the same column. So we have nine nine not in the left column, nine nine exclusive pair not in the left column then the nine will have to come in this left column in this segment. And actually, as it happens, we've already only got one missing square, one empty square, I should say, uh, in that column. So it has to be a nine. I hope you understood the logic behind that. Um, you'll need to. Uh, if you didn't, go back and look at it again or try to think about it again, um, because that is an essential Sudoku solving technique. Missing numbers up here now are 3 and 7 in this particular column. I'm going to put in this now. So I'm going to start putting in pairs of um, numbers that are fairly easy to see. Uh, in this segment here now, we have two squares. We must be able to find out what the two squares are, even if we don't know which way around they go, because there are only two squares left. We must know what they are. So we have one. We know two is in one of these two. Three we don't have. Four, five, six is either here or here. And seven is the missing number. So the missing numbers here are three and seven. We have to look around see if we have any intersecting threes or sevens for here or here. And the answer is no, we don't. So we can fill in the, that pair of numbers like this. Okay. Um, we have this one extending up this column here, and we have a one blocking this row here, so blocked and blocked. And we know that three or seven has to go here or here, nothing else, so a one can't appear here. So that means there's only one possible location for this one in this segment now. 
Um, I'm going to extend that one across. This one, now, if we check along this row and check along this row, you'll find uh, that's blocked and that row is blocked. There's also one in the center here. So we're going to give, we're going to have a pair of one candidates here and here. Um, all right. Now, as I say, you know, make sure you cast your eye around looking for things. Um, I'm gonna let's say one, two. Okay, here we can see that six blocks this row here, and so we're going to have a pair of sixes here. in this segment here one blocks this row here so we have a pair of ones here in this segment here this seven blocks this square from being a seven so we have a pair of sevens like so. And we also see that 4, this 4 here, blocks this square from being a 4. So we can have a pair of 4s here like this. Uh, in this, this 4 here, if we extend it up, so this top segment here, top left, we'll see these three squares are blocked and the four here blocks these two. So we have a pair of fours as a possibility here and here. We have eights blocking this column, eights blocking this column and an eight across the middle. So blocked, blocked and blocked. So there are two possible locations for 8. It either comes here or here. 2 comes up this column like so. 2 comes up this column like so. There are two possible locations for 2 here or here. In this segment here, so you know I'm jumping around, but that's okay. That's what you need to do. Four runs across this row here, and there's a four here up this column. So there are two possible locations for four. It's either here or here, like so. Five runs across this top row like so, and there's also a five here. We know that's three or seven. In fact, there's a five here, so fives, fives, fives. So two possible locations for five are here and here, like that. Okay, now I think. Um, okay, I think that is all of the pairs of numbers that we have. But clearly, we can't go too much further um, from what we have, right? There's um, not much that we can, there's, there's, a, we're kind of um, stuck a little bit here. Um, but we are, we haven't filled in all of the candidates. So our next job, after we've found pairs and found stuff that, you know, will exclude other digits nice and easily, what we need to do is fill in all of the candidates. So what we're going to do next is, is precisely that, fill in the rest of the candidates. Now I'm going to start up here. And my reasoning for starting up here is just the fact that I have 
nine, four, five as a as um, a pair. Three of these numbers in this um, segment ha have uh, an intersecting pair, and that's if you can get one of these numbers, it means all of the others will fall extremely quickly. Right. So let's see which number is missing from this segment. We have one. Do we have a two? No, we don't. Now you'll notice that what I've been doing is filling in the candidates in the top left. That's because my own notation, uh, in my own way of thinking, is that I know that that's a pair of numbers. Now the two is going to appear in more than two possible locations. So I'm going to fill it in the bottom right. So, But it can't appear here or here. We know that's only 3 or 7. But it can appear in any of the other squares. So I'm going to fill in the 2 in the bottom right like so. Okay. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. It's all done now. Let's come. This is done already because we have four missing numbers and four numbers to fill in. 3 and 7 and 2, 6. It's a pair and a pair. Double pair and a double pair, I should say. Down here now, missing number is 3. Um, we don't know. We can't tell from here where the 3 goes. So we're going to fill it in in the bottom right because it can go in any of those locations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 we don't have. 7 cannot, we can't fill in the 7, um, uh, uh, sorry we can't exclude the 7 from anywhere. 7s could be here or here, we just don't know. So we're going to fill in the 7 here like so. Okay, over here now, uh, one we have already, two, three we don't have yet, so three can go here, or here, or here, four, five, six, seven we don't have yet, seven can also come anywhere in the remaining squares. Up here, one, two, three we don't have yet, three can come here, or here, or here, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, that's all of the numbers there. Um, now I've seen something, and before I go any further, I know that I've filled in all of the squares, in he, all of the candidates here, and I know that I've filled in all of the candidates here. Okay. Now I've got one more to go, which is up here, but I've seen uh, a pattern already. I've seen something already. Because this is complete, and this is complete, and this square contains a 7 and a 3, and this square contains a 7 and a 3, I know that within this column now, we can't have a 7 or a 3. Not possible. Okay. We have 7 and a 3 only, 7 and a 3 only, so within this column, we can't have a 7 or a 3 anymore. So that means I'm going to remove this candidate. I'm going to get rid of the 7 and 3, 7 and 3, and what do we know? There's only one number left. That is a 1. And don't forget to remove the 1 candidate here. Okay. Also here we have 7 and 3 here. So I'm going to remove the 7 and the 3 here. Which is going to leave us with a 4 here. Now when you remove this 4. You'll find we're left with just a 3. And now that we're going to we're going to we have to remove this three. That's going to leave us with a seven. And back down here now we had a seven or a three pair. We know it's going to be a three, and that has to be a seven. Okay. So um, also uh, let's get rid of the seven that we filled in here. Let's remove the candidate seven here, seven here along this row, and we now know that we are left with. 9393. Nine, well, if that's 93 and 93, then there can be no other 9s or 3s in this segment. So we can remove the 3 and the 3 here, leaving us with a 6 and 7 pair here, like so. Okay. So now we do have pairs of numbers here. Right now, the 7s that we filled in is okay, we have a 7 already. Uh, the there are um, two numbers missing from this column here. Okay, uh, the missing numbers are nine and four, but we can see that four is blocked from here already. So four has to appear here, like so. 
and the line has to appear here like so. Now remember to remove that candidate for that we had. Now this one that we filled in already now eliminates the one up here. And one was a pair, it was a top left um, candidate, so we can fill it in there like so. What's the other missing number from this column? We have one, two is here or here, three, four, five is the other missing number, I believe, five, yeah, five. Uh, so five is gonna fit in here as a pair. So we've got a two, five pair now. The other missing number from here is what? One, two, three, we don't have a three in this segment, but we have a three that's intersecting here. Remember, these two are out already. We have a three that's blocking a three from going here. So a three must appear here like so. And now we're left with an eight here, because that's the only number remaining. Uh, remember, we filled in all of our candidates in the other areas now, so we can just follow the pattern around. So this eight means there can't be an eight here. It was either a two or an eight, so it has to be a two. Same here, that has to be an eight. We can see that now. Let's think about that two we just filled in. Clearly, that can't be a two now, can it? That has to be a five, and the two goes up here. You'll see I'm not bothering to remove the candidates if there are only two numbers left that I can fill in very easily. This nine means that this can't be a nine anymore. So it has to be a seven, and the nine has to come here. This seven now can't be a seven here. That has to be a three, and that has to be the seven there. There's one number missing from the top row here, which is two. We are crossing out a four, which was a pair here. So the four has to go here. We're writing over a nine and a five from this square. So that comes in handy like so. We bring this nine down and we know that that nine can't be a nine there. Nine has to go there. Remember now this was reduced to a pair. So that's three. The three can't come here. The three has to come here and that's a seven. The seven now, bring that down, can't come from this pair. The seven comes here, the six goes here. Back up again, the six can't be here. The six is here, and the two is here. We have finished yet another Sudoku puzzle. Um, those of you with some experience, I think you'll have followed that very easily and logically. Those of you who haven't seen it before might get to see how you work up and down and around the grid, um, and that's the way to do it. Um, tomorrow we'll be back with more Sudoku. I have no idea what level it will be tomorrow, um, but Monsieur Biden will be um, taking his uh, presidential inauguration, um, and uh, good luck to him in making the world a slightly less horrific place to live in. Actually, it's a beautiful place, but anyway. Thank you very much. We've finished for today. Bye-bye.